Last time, we looked at how voltage and current reflections can occur along a transmission line at the load or at faults. Really, whenever there is any discontinuity in the impedance on the transmission line, a reflection will be generated. When we study the reflections that occur along a conductor, it's called time domain reflectometry, TDR. For a TDR measurement, a time domain reflectometer sends an incident signal down the conductor, and then the reflectometer records any reflections. Based on how long it takes for the reflections to reach back to the reflectometer, a distance to the impedance discontinuity can be determined. From these measurements, TDR plots like the one shown here can be created. This TDR result is for a branched wire network that network topology is shown on the top of this slide. On the bottom of this slide is the TDR response, which plots the reflection coefficient versus distance down the transmission line. This plot was created from the reflections received at point A where the reflectometer is located. You'll notice in this TDR example that the reflection coefficient is zero for a while, right here. When it suddenly changes, they've labeled that as position B, which is where the first impedance discontinuity is located, at the branch point. The reflections we get from points C and D are also marked. Get out your in-class project notebook and write down a few notes about how we can use TDR to detect faults on transmission lines. Also, we could use TDR to check the load on a transmission line. That is, we can see if the impedance detected at the end of the transmission line is equivalent to the impedance we would expect from the load that we're using.